Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. We have three stories for you this week. Uh, but first, if you are interested in becoming a, uh, an FAA certified drone pilot, where you can fly a drone not just for fun, but for commercial purposes uh, here in the US, so for hire, uh, for your job, public safety department, um, we are running a Memorial Day sale on our online training course, which helps folks get through this FAA certification process. So today through Tuesday, May 31st, you can sign up over at dronepilotgroundschool.com and get $100 off. Uh, we'll link to that below. If you have any questions either about our program specifically or really anything about the FAA certification process, uh, let us know in the comments below. Okay, so last week we talked about the launch of Flyability's Elios 3 drone. Before the launch, drone pilots from Flyability participated in a scientific expedition to Iceland. A big focus was to create 3D maps inside lava tubes on the Fagradalsviach volcano. Uh, hopefully close enough with that pronunciation. With the Elios 3's LiDAR sensor and new 3D mapping capabilities, they were able to learn more about the lava tubes beneath the surface. The Fagradalsviach volcano may sound familiar. It erupted toward the end of last year for a whopping six months. Uh, many drone pilots flew uh, pretty epic missions to get footage as it erupted. Some even sacrificed their drones to get the footage they wanted. Our longtime drone industry friend and a contributing writer here at UAV Coach, Zach Dukowitz, was on this trip uh, to Iceland and sent us these great photos of the adventure. A couple weeks ago, drone software company Aloft launched a new geospatial data platform. The Aloft GeoPortal helps drone pilots know what laws apply to where they are flying. This is a free tool. It's made for publishing airspace and ground rule advisories. Uh, so using the portal, local authorities can put in their local drone advisories and laws. The idea here is to provide a single place where commercial drone pilots can find all the laws. Any U.S. commercial drone pilot knows there can be tension between federal and local rules. We've reported on many times where state laws can conflict with federal law, uh, like the recent one uh, struck down as unconstitutional in Texas. Even if the local drone laws are in line with federal laws, there's still a lot of them to navigate. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we've built and uh, continuously maintain a crowdsourced directory of drone laws organized by state uh, and also by country around the world. It can be complex and overwhelming to plan a flight, especially in a new area. Um, have you tried out this new tool from Aloft yet? Uh, if so, let us know in the comments uh, what you think about it. Okay, last story here. Uh, it's a bird. It's a plane. Nope, it's a swarm of drones. <laughs> Researchers at uh, Zhejiang University in China created this video of 10 drones flying autonomously through a bamboo forest. The drones fly on their own and communicate with each other to stay in formation while in flight. They are using depth sensing cameras mounted on the drones. This allows them to create uh, maps of their surroundings in real time while they're in flight. Currently, drone swarms are limited in their application. The most common use for them is creating uh, elaborate and beautiful light shows. Uh, but in the future, these drone swarms could uh, potentially help with uh, disaster relief and ecological surveys. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below uh, to read more. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you all have a great holiday weekend. And to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.